Italy. Hi, Louis. What are you doing? Uh, just looking at some lab reports. Oh, you're doing great. Mm, sounds fun. Um, Want to do something about angular momentum? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, I see you're sitting in a nice chair. Ah, uh, I love it. It's yeah. a great chair. You realize it spins? Wait, what? But you know friction. Ready? Oh, wow. Yeah, spinning chair. That's amazing. Cool, huh? Which way, which way is your angular velocity? Well, I'm spinning that way, so right hand rule, up. That's right. Counterclockwise, I think, from the top. Angular velocity is up. And your angular momentum, which is I times omega, is also up. Indeed. All right. So now, take those weights. Do some exercise. OK, sounds good. Extend your arms. Ready? I'm going to give you another spin. And no. Now bring it in. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Extend. Slow down. Want to do more or are you doing? Yeah, no, it's fun. It's not as fast as before. Yeah, we have a little bit of friction. So, what was going on again? Um, well, I guess I changed my moment of inertia, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so when it's like this, it's higher than when it's like this. That's right. So when you extend your arm, you have a higher moment of inertia. When you have a lower moment of inertia, and there's essentially no torque in this system. There's a little bit of friction, but not much. So angular momentum is conserved, which means if you change om i, omega must change. Indeed. So if you decrease the moment of inertia, then you increase omega. Yeah. This is what skaters do to speed up. All right, so that's fun, but let me show you something also cool. I'm going to give you a bike. Yeah. All right. Let me spin it up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Take this. All right, this wheel right now is spinning this way. Okay. Angular momentum is down. Turn the wheel around. Oh, wow. What happened? Well, I applied the torque on the wheel, right? Yeah, but that's, if I look at the wheel in U system, turn it back. Ooh. Whoa. When I look at your system, angular momentum should be conserved. Right. At least for a little while before friction kicks in. Right. Try again. So when you change the direction of the angular momentum of this wheel by turning it, you must turn the other way to keep angular momentum conserved. So right now, this wheel is spinning down, and you has an angular momentum down, and you have an angular momentum up. And when you turn it around, go the other way. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. That's physics. <laughs> <laughs>